My name is Jerry Sudakawa, and I am the fabricator of these bronze gates that were stolen. It was two and a half years ago when they were stolen. And of course, you know, there was a period of people outraged and emotional grief and all that. Then the foundation and the community really came together and uh, did the fundraising and asked me to build them. When they were first stolen, I said I didn't want to do it again because it was too much work the first time. But I realized, you know, I, it was up to me because no one else could figure it out. My father designed them and I built them in 76. And my father saved all the drawings, so I had the original design. The fabrication is, is, is very difficult. There was 150 pieces of bronze here. It's all flat sheet, and they all had to be custom cut length and welded together. And nothing was done on the computer, so it was all hand built. So uh, it took about three and a half months of, of uh, full labor with two people. When we were installing, and since then, I've been watching people, and they're really smiling, and they're really happy with this new location. It is such a relief to have them back. I'm really happy to see that it's uh, come full circle, and uh, instead of a grief, it's a lot of happiness. The Sudakawa Memorial Gates are located between Azalea Way and the Visitor Center at Washington Park Arboretum. More information is at arboretumfoundation.org. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.